This is how you can get one of the most important items that you should not enter the third sea without. And these are some must haves if you just entered the second sea. So if you want to know every second sea must have make sure to watch this video till the end. Today's shout outs go to these guys. If you want a shout out in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments your favorite item from the second sea. So even though there is much more fruit mains than sword mains. And even if you don't use swords that often. If you plan to PvP in the third C or even sooner than getting legendary swords from the second C is definitely a must have. What are they? Well first of all the mythical one which is the true triple katana. And since you can't get it without Shisui, Sadi and Wando they are a must have as well. And of course, if you really plan to PvP you should get the Coco and Pulled V2. How to get them? Well you can get Coco from Raid Boss, Order, Law. And for the pull V2 you first need to get the pull V1 from the Thunder God boss in the first sea upper sky islands. How to evolve it? You need to fully awaken Rumble Fruit and complete Rumble Raid after which you will teleport it to the Thunder God NPC and you can buy the pull V2 from him for 5k frags. Which will cost you about 20k fragments in total. But, it is a really good PvP sword even for the third C. Coco is great as well. But what about true triple katana? Well I made a full step by step guide how to get it so you can check it out here. But is it good? Well it is really high damage per attack and it has really low knockback making it ideal for grinding so it's definitely worth getting. Also these three swords are really good for both grinding and PvP so there is really no reason for you to not get them. Let's be real. If you clicked on a second C must haves video there is really no chance that it doesn't have a Buddha in it. So yeah, Buddha is definitely the biggest must have in the second C, maybe even in the third C, if your priority is progressing through the game. After you use advantage of the Buddha you can prioritize PvP must have so you understand, why is it so important? Well you use the light fruit in the first C because it's an elemental fruit and it is really good overall. But now that you're in the second C you have better stats and abilities so you don't need that light fruit type of advantages, like fruit sword and etc. So, now you can sweep through the enemies without any chance that they kill you with Buddha. Buddha, if you transform using Z ability, gives you such insane defense boosts that the normal enemies are funny. And another thing that is up with Buddha is the fact that you can use another fighting style or sword, true triple katana let's say, with it. So you can use two in one making you a grinding beast. But of course, the con of that is the fact that it's not that brilliant in PvP, but surprisingly it's not that even bad if you just spam M1S. So without any doubt go and get Buddha. There are two particular accessories that you definitely must have from the second C. Ghoul Mask. And Swan Glasses. Why are they important? Well just like any other good accessory it gives such insane buffs that you must use it. These are the Ghoul Mask buffs. The most important stats here are the Life Leech and we can say the movement speed because you need it if you use Buddha. Getting this Life Leech makes you almost immortal and immune to normal enemies. You will have such high regeneration that it's kind of funny grinding normal enemies. And you will be able to complete any raid easily, except maybe Buddha but you still can do it but it's not that easy but still possible. How to get it? You need to go to the cursed ship and buy it from the Alparo NPC for 50 ectoplasm which you can get by defeating any NPC on the cursed ship. And what about swan glasses? In my opinion ghoul mask is better but most people consider swan glasses the best second C accessory. And how to blame them just look at these buffs. Not only that these buffs are good but there are a lot of them so it makes you better in almost every aspect. How to get it? You will have to go to the second sea kingdom of rose and climb up the don swan mansion where you will need a fruit that is worth over 1 million pelly why in order to enter the don swan boss room you will have to give that fruit to the trevor so then you just kill the don swan and you have 2.5 percent chance of getting the swan glasses it is pretty hard but not because of the 2.5 percent chance but because it's incredibly hard to find this boss alive so yeah second sea fighting styles Second C fighting styles not as good as third C ones but not even one bit less important. Why? Well in order to get third C fighting sleaze you first need to get the second C ones. But that doesn't mean that there aren't some really insane fighting styles in the second C. The first fighting style that you must get is Shark Man Karate. Why is that so? That is because it's insanely good for grinding because of the biggest hitboxes, easy to use, powerful damage, fast attacks, high combo potential, no knockback and so on. And you can buy it from Digrock the Shark Man if you have 400 mastery on Water Kung Fu, 2.5 million Peli and 5k fragments. And, you will need a Water Key which you can get by defeating the Tide Keeper boss, 
15 to 30 percent chance and what's the other fighting style well it's obviously the superhuman it's the v1 version of the best fighting style god human which you can get in the third c so it must be good you can get the superhuman by getting 300 mastery on electric dark step water kung fu and dragon breath after you get that you just need to buy it from the martial arts master for 3 million peli there isn't much to say about this fighting style except that it's insane so, if you want a mix of both grinding and pumping capabilities use superhuman but if you want to go all out on grinding level use shark man karate. No matter what race you are evolving your race to v2 or v3 is crucial if you want the best buffs. So how to do it? For the race v2 you will have to complete the Colosseum quest. It's pretty easy. After you complete the quest you will need to pay 500k peli to the alchemist in green zone. But for the race v3 you will need to complete a special quest given by Aro and then pay 2 million peli. Which doesn't sound really explanatory. So if you want a step by step detailed guide check out this video. Also guys make sure to join our Roblox group where we will do giveaways and where you can buy some clothing to support us. If you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and a sub to let me know that I should make more useful videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.